But here's the critical difference between Fro and Ronnie. Fro own Bass platform, and the Ronnie is a side dish solution. And let me give you the difference. As usual, this is my performance strategy. So I only look at my assets in Bitcoin and all the urban fitness related G6 categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my performance strategy, please check out my other video about my performance strategy. And here is my video link, okay? And today's Axie matching category is here and here. So first of all, they're gonna provide NFT game dApps. But at the same time, because of the network congestion issue and also gas issue of the Ethereum platform, also, they're going to start to provide the side-chain solutions for the Ethereum. That is why they are also matching to the number 5, Burl Sky or 2, okay? Now, as usual, I'm going to apply a 6 and a 5 points to so start for the pain points, product, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30.30. And also, if you want to deepen your understanding about my how I'm going to analyze each point here, Please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here is my video link, okay? Then let's start from number one, pain point analysis. Then we mainly have two pain points related to the access infinity. And the first one is this one. Play to earn is a critical solution to save 25 billion unbanked in global. Let me tell you the background here. So, this is a pretty famous about you know, visualization of the capital society structure. So simply say, and the capitalist system harms human society over two centuries. Then what is the most critical problem on the capitalist society is this one. Capitalists are just mutual exploitation player for human wealth redistributions. And to help you understand about this point, we got the great analogy from the internet. This one. So before the internet, TV was a major media format. Every single artist who wants to create the contents and distribute the you know, contents on the user side, they have to deal with mutual exploitation player in this old media format. And these are those players, such as artist productions, TV channel, and advertiser. They're gonna decide which artist and also the which artist contents should be distributed to the user side here. The internet technology made a decentralization of the media format from old model to here, more democratic model here. So on the internet space, no one stop you to create the contents and distribute the contents from this side, the other side here. Even like you or like me, can also create the contents and distribute the user side too. And who's gonna take in care of the filtering mechanism about which contents should be distributed to the user side? Sometimes we have to deal with some kind of malicious in the content stuff or a scam deal stuff too. Also user, is gonna take care of the issue, such as reporting functions, or like like or share you know, function, you know, these feature, you know, function like the democratic model as a filtering mechanism on the internet media. Then we got a many, you know, innovation happen here on media format in the internet space, such as bro for the OnePlus, or picture for the Instagram, and video for the YouTube, right? And to help you understand about this point more clear way, I got a pretty good example here. It's Iska Roran. So Iska Lawrence, a model told she was too big and unceremoniously dropped by her agency, has a following of over 3 million on Instagram and is now fronting American Eagle Outfitters, you know, latest lingering campaign. This is a power of internet technology. And a completely same thing would happen by using blockchain technology in a financial space. And let me tell the background here. So here is our old financial system. Every single user who have extra money, we usually deposit the money to a banking account. Then the other side, those users need the money. For example, for buying a car or buying a house or starting a business, right? Then these are the mutual exploitation players, such as bankers, venture capitalists, and credit score companies. By using blockchain technology, we're going to eliminate those mutual exploitation players with a decentralized model and just like internet, we're gonna achieve more democratic model to run this filtering mechanism of this wealth redistributions. Okay? So which means we have a great opportunity here for the killer application on this space. Then what's the key missions? This new type of infrastructure in the financial system? 
is this one. We need to save over 2.5 billion unbanked users on a global basis. For example, in Latin America, over 65 people cannot have bank accounts. In Africa, over 80% of the people who cannot have a bank account. In the Middle East and India, over 67%. South Asia, over 58%. So this is the key mission of the blockchain. Okay? Then to realize this goal, one of the high potential approach, what we're gonna discuss these days is this one. D5 is NFT. So this is an example about the branding protocol, Aave. So currently, you know, Aave ecosystem, we usually, you know, building the you know, borrower and the renting economy between major crypto assets like USDD Tether, BAT, or EAS. But you know, as the next step, what are we gonna be discussing about is we're gonna scale up these you know, supply and demand model and the decentralized renting protocol into NFT assets. Now, of course, we are planning to apply to the smartphone or housing stuff too, but one of the high potential in order to save those unbanked users here is NFT game, virtual item. And Axie Infinity is exactly focused on those domains, okay? And the second pain point, network congestion and high e scarcity becomes a critical obstacle for NFT game market development stuff. Let me tell you the background. First of all, the key things I want you to understand here that analogy from the internet. We call it competing big bang. It's gonna happen from 2006 to 2007. Every single board's project, such as Ethereum, Flow, or Solar, has a completely same context of the AWS on the internet space. Because before the AWS, every single developer who wants to develop their own applications need to use the data center solutions. Then every single month, they have to pay 3,000 or 5,000 per month. It's a pretty expensive one. That is why a lot of developers hesitate to develop their own applications. But what I mean things about AWS? They only charge minutes or seconds based one. Those product computing resources in AWS, that is why a lot of lots of developers started to develop their own applications, especially for a new pioneer market on a smartphone. Because of these two innovations, we eventually experience in coping with that massive application market growth is gonna happen on the internet space. And eventually internet industry experiences second fastest growing pace in its history. Then we're gonna call it coping with that. Okay? completely the same context the first project has in the blockchain space. But one of the critical issues happening here in this space right now is this one. This is the data from 2019, but we can learn many things from this in a graph. This is the top 10 bus platform completion stuff. The orange one is a pure market capitalization of each bus project, such as Ethereum and EOS. And the blue one is a total aggregated market cap of the all the DApps application running on each platform. Then, as you can see here, huge DApps congestion happening here on the Ethereum. And because of these congestions, eventually what's gonna happen on the Ethereum platform is this one, gas fee problem. Since December 2020, Ethereum platform transformed their consensus algorithm from proof of work based one, like Bitcoin, to proof of state based one. And the major purpose for this transformation to reduce the gas cost on the Ethereum platform. But even after this, what can actually happen here on the Ethereum platform? Sometimes ETH gas cost fee hit higher than BTC. Then because of this, a lot of retail investors started discussing about alternative boost project. Then a lot of that player also moving out from Ethereum, those new alternative bus project. And Access Infinity also you know, facing the same issue too. Then eventually they're gonna decide to start their own sidechain solutions. They call it running. Okay? Then, based on this understanding, let's move to the next topic, product analysis. So before moving to the detail stuff, let's check out the overview of the Axie. So Axie Infinity, founded in 2018 by Tran and Chun. Axie tokens built on Ethereum using ERC721 tokens. And in June 2019, Axie Infinity partnered with the MakerDAO to integrate DAI as an in-game currency, amazing work, and on November 2020, Aave also announced that Aave will be distributing Aave token to those who win Axie Infinity Battles. It's also nice. And on February 2021, they announced that its Ethereum sidechain running went live and developer Sky Navis developed the sidechain to ease the pressure of the Ethereum network congestions and the gas fee on players. Okay? Let me briefly tell you about what Axie Infinity as an NFT game. 
you know, inside access immunity, you know, you can do it mainly four things. So first one is breed. Once you're gonna buy Axi, the character inside of the game, like this way, you're gonna get married with this new Axi to other Axi. Then you can make the new egg. Then once you're gonna get the new baby Axi, you can rise them, like this and eating. Then how you're gonna rise, also have a variety of parameter to grow up in a different way, like evolution stuff. It's pretty interesting. Then, once you're gonna grow up your family, like your father, mother, and kids, you can make the battle with the other family member, like this one. Then, of course, once you're gonna win the battle, you can get some kind of experience point. You can grow your axis level up. Also, you know, with the level up, each axis also get the unique, unique skills or strengths on the character development stuff. Then, once you're gonna successfully develop the new type of the axis infinity, you can sell and buy those axes on this marketplace, okay? So, so that is why I simply say this game is for play to earn, okay? So it's pretty good. Then, learning. So they are side chain project. So as I told you that, since we have a serious problem about the network congestion and the gas fee issue on access infinity, that is why they gotta start with the side chain solutions on top of the Ethereum platform. It's kind of a layer two solutions, and they call it running. And then to help you understand this point, actually the flow will be the great reference for us. Because an access infinity also you know, going through a kind of same path, just like a flow project, is gonna pass in the past. Because a you know, flow project is actually originally from CryptoKitties, run by Dapper Labs. This is a world class NFT game on a blockchain space. And a huge success. But because of the network congestion and gas fee issue, Finally, popularity of the CryptoKitties getting going down. Three years later, you know, Dapper Labs decided to start their own bus project from. Then they're gonna see still high potential about NFT game space. So that's why they're gonna start their own game application. NFT Top Shot is a good example. And NFT Top Shots also hit number one NFT game in the past two. Okay? Then Access Infinity, kind of same path. Access Infinity getting huge success these days, just like CryptoKitties, but since they got experiences, they were congestion or gas issue on the Ethereum platform, they decided to side the solution with Ronnie. But here's the critical difference between Fro and Ronnie. Fro own bus platform, and the Ronnie is a side chain solution. And then let me tell you the difference briefly here. So first of all, Ronnie, okay? So it's a side chain solution for the Ethereum. So Ronnie itself, has their public blockchain. Also, they have proof of stake consensus algorithm here, but still, they're gonna continuously use Ethereum for their final validation of the transactions. So the purpose of this side chain is just decrease frequency of using Ethereum validations on their network. So that is why it's kind of similar to the Polygon automatic network, okay? They're gonna move in there, you know, then they're gonna move as infinity on top of the side chain running, also, Ronnie itself has DEX system, also the wallet applications. So, which means, so with these you know, two applications, tell us that in long term, they're planning to expand their DApps ecosystem on NFT game, not only on the access infinity, but other DApps player here. Okay? Then, what about Flow? So, Flow is a bus, just like Ethereum. That is why they don't use the Ethereum. Okay, so that is why they have own cloud computing resource network here. Then they will run this network with the public blockchain and with the proof of stake based one too. Then here is gaming DApps here. Then enemy top shot is their first applications. It's huge success. Then also they're gonna provide you know deck solution here. They are also crypto kitties here. Sys flow also working with a variety of you know pretty well known gaming studio. So they only provide MotoGP emissions and also the Vive and Chain Monsters and then they are planning to release other game stuff too, okay? So it's a very similar one, but from the technical perspective, also the DApps ecosystem open stuff, Pro is much more advanced than Access Infinity with Run. okay? That's the things we can learn from here, okay? Then, value card version analysis. So Access with Run here and most of the closest competitor here is Flow, okay? Then Ethereum and also another Ethereum killer Solana. Okay? First of all, the things I want you to understand here is fast move advantage. 
Ethereum is a wild, fast, vast product in this space. That is why only Ethereum can take this advantage, not for other player. Then what about the uniqueness of the active is running or here, these red mark area. So first critical difference is, is you know, this one. Ethereum 2.0 bridge. Because the rolling is a side chain. That's why it's technically impossible. Flow is isolated from the Ethereum platform. Okay? But once we got the Solana, Solana also their own bus project, just like a flow, but they also provide Ethereum bridge solutions. So which means that flow might provide those Ethereum bridge solutions in their roadmap in long term. Okay? Then, but Solana still focus on, you know, DeFi, directly competing with Ethereum. Then, one of the critical uniqueness, also the competency of the you know, access running is here, play to earn. Okay? Flow also provides these, you know, feature too, because, you know, enemy top is a good example too, but access infinity has much more competitive solutions to run this play to earn world. And one of the good examples is this one. Partner with you know, YZZ. YZZ also they're gonna provide kind of give the doubt for NFT gaming space. In this ecosystem, let's say you are the first user of the Access Infinity, but you don't have any money. Then once you're gonna join YZZ Gildow, they can rent NFT token for you to play game inside of the Access Infinity. So you can make money by breeding or writing or fighting with your NFT character who you're gonna rent from YZZ. YZ itself also run any kind of NFT investment or creating new NFT inside a game. Then they also you know, identify other game opportunities here too. Access Infinity itself is kind of starting point for the YZZ project, but with this model, still the NFT game on the flow doesn't have this kind of ecosystem yet. So from this perspective, this is one of the most critical competitive advantage Access Infinity is running to compete with flow. Okay? The other things also we have to think about, you know, kind of long-term issue about the DeFi platform. Since Access Infinity started running, all, you know, DeFi solutions on Ethereum platform cannot support their business, other sidechain or other bus project. But these days, those players such as Wi-Fi, Aave, MakerDAO, Sushi, they're going to start to support multi-chain model. So not only for the Ethereum, they're going to expand their DeFi solution to other blockchain, such as Swanner, Flow, also Run2. That is why, in long term, this issue is not a critical problem for the running project too. Okay? And the next one, staking dilemma by DeFi on Ethereum 2.0. This is another issue that the running have to take in long term. Ethereum 2.0 currently facing critical issue about DeFi solutions. Because as we know, DeFi is a killer solutions on Ethereum platform, right? But Ethereum also provide staking solutions. So users have to decide which solution they're gonna use to make money by holding Ethereum token in long term. Once you're gonna choose the staking for Ethereum, you can only earn ETH token with the staking model. But once we're gonna look at you know, DeFi solutions, Wi-Fi, Aave, Uniswap, or Nexus Mutual. Here is multiple opportunity to make money with your ETH tokens. Currently, you have to choose one of them. But here's the critical solutions come to this market right now. It's this one, Wrapped Bros Tokens. You know, I already came up with this idea almost a couple months ago, and I also share my idea there on my video. But Phantom also started to provide these features on their platform. For Phantom Bros Project, they also provide staking solutions. Then with the staking model, they're gonna provide 13% APY. It's a pretty good number here. But also, here's an additional feature here, unlock liquidity. On Phantom, your delegated FTM gives you SFTM, a synthetic asset you can use within a Phantom DeFi ecosystem. Inside of Phantom, you don't have to worry about anything about those staking solutions. Phantom itself prefer higher staking ratio to maintain their DAO governance model. So once Ethereum also apply wrapped growth technology like WETC on a proof of stake model, it's gonna be a huge innovation happen on this bus platform too. Which means running, once they're gonna support double running token or something on their bus project, 
it's going to be a huge killer solutions to develop their DeFi ecosystem on their sidechain solutions. Okay? And number three, key analysis. So here's a key member at Sky Mavis. Tran, co-founder CEO, he's an ex-software engineer at Odin Transaction. It's a fintech player. And also he's a co-founder and CTO at the Lotti e-commerce player. So he got the BS of the computer software engineering at FPT University. So, so he's a serial tech entrepreneur. It's good. And two, co-founder and our director. And he's ex-head of design at the Lotti. So they gotta work together. It's pretty good. And he got the BS of the architecture at Hanoi Architecture University. And he's also the dropout. And Alexander, co-founder and CEO, security board of director at the blockchain game Alliance 2, and he got the economics at the VI Norwegian Business School. And then Viet, CTO, ex full stack software engineer, and he's an ex software engineer intern at the Google and PayPal. And he got the BS of the computer science at the Nyan Technology University. It's pretty good. And Jeffrey, co-founder and growth lead at the Sky Labis, BA of history at Yale University. And initially they have 10 member, many in Vietnam. So it's pretty well balanced team, and since they are focusing on emerging economy for play to earn, so it's pretty good. Okay? And then number four, execution power analysis. NFT portable ranking by sales volume last 24 hours, June 27th, data from Crypto Slams. Currently, Axis Infinity is the number one NFT game DApps on the blockchain space. Amazing. Then number five, token economy analysis. So token economy design metric which I made and the major matching category of the axis with running is here and here, dabs and verse. Okay? The most important item, network effect axis with running. And then this is a starting point. Blockchain game developer who prefer cheaper gas cost fee for NFT transactions, then they're gonna develop more gaming dabs and running so they can get active user traffic here. Kind of the same as Trump, okay? Their ultimate goal as NFT game marketplace is this one. Oasis for blockchain game, share the NFT on all games on running. Okay? Once they can achieve this kind of you know, variety of game universe there, more selection of the blockchain games with less friction costs to play. So that is why you know, they can provide more better customer experiences. Then they're going to achieve their depth growth on the running ecosystem. And the starting point, of course, access infinity. Okay? Then as the next step, what we're gonna expect here is this one, require staking for shared NFT, as I told you, like synthetic asset model. So, you know, DeFi solution with NFT. And then one of the critical competency for them is partnering with YGZ here. Then once they can achieve this goal, more limited supply for the speculator and the stable proof of stake model, that is why for the side chain token itself, so stable asset value grows come to this market so they can provide more better customer experiences. Then this one, they're gonna bring them, you know, down with the asset growth. Okay? Then about governance DAO, very critical because Ethereum is well developing right now. About governance DAO model, they are starting to provide very unique model. is community treasury inside Access Infinity. AXS staker are on both staking and treasury yield. The staking yield consists of funds that move from Axie staking multi-sig directly to staker. Treasury yield consists of funds that move out of the treasury to staker. And the underlying treasury funds are made up with AXS tokens sent to the treasury from staking insurance and exogenous network revenue, stablecoin and ease. They try to build a kind of combination model of the staking solutions. Pure staking revenue comes from this one. Starting from 35%, but every one year is decreasing, finally leads to the 50%. Then to supplement those, you know, decreasing model, with the access infinity itself, they're gonna run some asset management inside the game creation economy, inside access infinity, they're gonna make money through that process, so they're gonna share those revenue to the staker. So this, you know, target itself is increasing every year, five to 10%. So with this model, you know, they're gonna grow up the effective down mechanism about access infinity inside, it's pretty good. I think this model is pretty, you know, interesting model. Also, pretty scalable solutions as a community treasure model to build an effective and sustainable DAO ecosystem inside Access Infinity. Okay. And then number six, hype cycle analysis. So this is a Gartner hype cycle analysis, blockchain technology 2020 versions, and a major matching category of the Access Infinity is running in here, here, 
and here. First one is, of course, decentralized applications because they're going to focus on NFT gaming dApps. This one is safe for the huge potential next to five to ten years. And the next one is blockchain pros because they're going to provide running as a site solutions. And the third one is the blockchain asset tokenizations because, you know, to realize, you know, perfect and most scalable play in our world to save and bank the user 2.5 billion, you know, global basis, we have to realize pretty effective DeFi solutions with NFT games. Then, Access Infinity is running, of course, seriously focused on those domains, so that is why this one will be a critical issue for them in the long term. But currently, since they're going to build in the parking model with YZZ, so that is why I set the indirect matching category here, okay? But each item here, Access Infinity has pretty big potential. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? So, final item, total score. So about pain points 5.0. Without any questions, play to earn on NFT games has a huge potential to save over 2.5 million unbanked users on a global basis. And also, scientific solution learning itself has a pretty effective way to build a cheaper NFT transaction infrastructure to scale up, not only for Access Infinity, but other you know, character NFT game business stuff too, so 5.0. Their product, 4.5. Access Infinity is huge success, so amazing interactions, amazing product. Running, about running, still is a little bit unclear for me about the side chain technology, especially about scaling solutions. So I set the 4.5 here. Team level 4.0. Pretty well balanced here with a you know, serial tech entrepreneur background. It's pretty good too, but since they're gonna you know, study provide you know, side chain solutions, so their competitor is much more expanding right now, like Polygon, Fro, you know, those are the pretty competitive players there too. So currently, I set the 4.0 here, okay? And execution power, 4.5. Simply say, building the play to our world from emerging economy itself is a great, inspiring project. But at the same time, Axie Infinity itself is a huge success. So it's amazing traction, 4.5. Token economy, their token economy, especially Axie Infinity is running, it's pretty similar to the Fro. Then compared with Fro, Fro currently much more advanced about you know, NFT gaming dApps and attraction stuff too. But you know, us Infinity itself has a pretty unique approach about the play to R with, with a wide easy partnering model here. So I set the 4.0 here. Hype cycle 4.0. DApps, blockchain pros, blockchain asset tokenization, all three items here is a pretty high potential category on hype cycle model on the blockchain space. Still, Access Infinity with running project is a starting point. So I set the 4.0 here. So the total score is 26 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in Access Infinity Token AXS, okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and virtual space. So I'm going to make a lot of videos in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.